thanks for joining me. It's your girl, Miss King's World, and today I'm going to be showing you my 11-step Korean skincare routine because we are manifesting this year. So if you are interested, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, follow my social media links, and of course, keep watching. Okay, so currently I am wearing a little bit of makeup right now. And so to take it off, I know it's just easy to go in with a makeup wipe or something, but I have to use oil before I go in with a micellar water. So I use the Simple brand, which I really like because it's gentle and I usually get the gentle one, the one that's sensitive for your eyes. I'm not really a mascara person. I usually just wear fake eyelashes and then just maybe I'll put on a little coat on the end. So I'm not usually like scrubbing my eye a lot. But I find it a little bit easier to start with the oil, and I like using olive oil and a baby wipe. So I'm gonna use do that. I'm dropping things. I know in Korean skincare they do like to oil cleanse. So I do like doing this and I find that it makes it easier for, you know, when you're done washing your face and you still have makeup coming off. I feel like this just adds an extra step that helps break that down and prevents that from happening. So that is the first step. And I like that olive oil, it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, so I don't mind using olive oil. And it gives you that extra radiance and boost, which I really love. And then I go in with my organic cotton pads. I really wanna switch to the ones that you throw in the laundry, but for now, I'm gonna use these. My favorite is the Cosar X Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. This is a staple in my skincare. Like I use this practically every day. I feel like the salicylic acid is a game changer for my face. I think that's what prevents it because you can see like my skin is pretty good. I get like a few breakouts. I think there's a pimple somewhere trying to pop up somewhere here but for the most part i owe it to this guy i think people hear acids and they get a little scared of it but trust me it is nothing to be scared of salicylic acid pretty much is a bha i know you hear about aha bha this is a bha um a beta i think i wrote it down da -da 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 -da. It is a beta hydroxy acid, and this is good for penetrating the first layer and going into your pores. So it's really good for just getting all that grime and dirt, especially if you wear a lot of makeup and you're pushing the makeup into your skin. This helps to remove and unclog your pores. So I usually, like I said, I use this daily and I have no issues with it. So I'm just gonna wet my face and then I'm gonna show you how I cleanse my face. Okay, so I put my headband on to protect these edges, although I know they're gonna be jacked up by the end of this video. So, usually I do this in the shower. I make sure I run a nice hot shower, get steam going, get the pores open. I take a little bit. You really do not need that much. And I work this into my skin for at least a minute. <laughs> and like I said, I love this. It doesn't really have too strong of a smell, which is good. And which leads me to the third step in the skincare, which is to exfoliate. I have an exfoliating brush. It's like a small little handheld one. I got this at Walmart. Um, because you usually find it like a Shoppers or CVS or Superdrug. I love these. It comes in a pack of two and you can really just use this to 
gently exfoliate your face for, like I said, at least a minute. And I don't really like brushes. I kind of like this because it's more handheld, which gives you better control to really go over the spots you need. You can go as rough as you want, but they're really gentle. And this is the rougher one. It actually comes with one that's a little bit smaller. And yeah, it's just amazing. So this is the third step in the Korean skincare routine, which is to exfoliate. Sometimes I like using paper towel just because, you know, your towel, you use it multiple times and like you put them down. At least I know paper towel is clean. Um, and I like to just pat, not drag your skin. Honestly, no regrets with that face wash. I've been using it for almost two years now. And if I run out, I have to buy it. So the next thing after I'm done exfoliating and cleansing is a toner and my all-time favorite holy grail is the Pixi Glycolic Acid Toner but I couldn't find that here so I used this one super drug brand and it's glycolic acid looks like this and this is actually a pretty good comparison I thought I was going to be disappointed but it has not let me down and glycolic acid it's a really good exfoliator as well and it gently exfoliates your skin while you sleep it improves dark spots acne and again it's another acid which some people might get a little bit wary about using them together but salicylic acid and glycolic acid are good to use together i love this stuff i think this also kind of helps with acne and just controlling any pimples you have so i like to use this Maybe every other day, especially if I'm wearing makeup, I like to use the acids to make sure I really get the makeup off so it's not stuck in my pores. But this is a really good acid. And I find if you have any extra makeup that's still on, this definitely gets rid of everything and it doesn't burn the skin. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, so don't use everything every day. I like to go between this and a hydrating toner just so I don't overwhelm my skin or allow my skin to get used to everything because I think when you're constantly using something every single day sometimes your skin gets used to it and then it stops working so I like to alternate so that my skin kind of gets like a break from some stuff so now that I finished toning my face the next thing I'm going to move on to is an essence essence are really good because they allow all your other skincare routine to really soak into your skin this essence I haven't been using for that long. I've used the Cosar X Hyaluronic Acid Essence that I really loved, but this time I wanted to give something a little bit different a try. So I did the Advanced Snail 96 Snail Mucin Power Essence, which I've heard amazing, 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 amazing reviews about. Snails just have a lot of good properties for the skin, they improve elasticity, they improve texture, they just improve everything. Everyone raves about snail mucin, it's like the newest thing for us. I think in Korean skincare it's probably something they're used to, but I've been using this for a few weeks and I definitely do love it. So I'm going to continue and give you guys an updated review later, but I like to kind of just push it into my skin. It's, it's not like sticky or anything. I'm gonna just push it in. And it doesn't have a smell. It doesn't feel like you have what you would think snail mucus would be like. I'm just like push it in. And as you can see, my skin already looks like very hydrated, especially with everything you pile on top. You definitely want to make sure they don't sit on top of your skin and they go in your skin. So this definitely helps. Yeah, so it's a little sticky to touch, but it dries down. After the essence, my next thing is a sheet mask, which I don't do every day, but for the purpose of this video, I will do one. And sometimes I need that extra TLC. I do love doing a good mask, a clarifying mask, and then maybe following up with a sheet mask, just to like clarify your skin. Sometimes you're piling on makeup, oils, the environment, just everything gets into your skin. So it's important to really strip your skin of everything and then 
bring that back. That way you're not just, it's just too much is on top of your skin. So sometimes you gotta have to clarify it, but I really like using moisturizing sheet masks to kind of just add that extra oomph to your skincare and it feels luxurious. So I will add the Innisfree, I already opened it, but it is the Ginseng Mask. Looks like this. How do I look? Good, right? You think me? I look like Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> Which one is it? Jason? I look like Jason right now. Okay, so since I had this mask on, sometimes I like to do this if I'm not doing other things. I will use my jade roller and kind of roll this. And I forgot to add before, ginseng definitely gives the skin a glow because it promotes collagen, which is really nice because that's something we naturally have and we lose that over time. Do not forget your neck. It is very important. You don't want a tight face and wrinkly neck. It just doesn't really match up. So don't forget about her. And even here, your decollete, decolletage, like don't forget about up here too. It is part of your skincare because you do put makeup down there. This mask is falling, honey. She don't want to stay. She says, stop talking. Okay, so I'm going to leave this on and be back in 10 minutes. And it is looking glass-like, if I say so myself. I'm just going to use this and I'm going to finish just rolling it in my face, especially up. And around it just helps for the lymphatic drainage and to kind of just help massage your face make sure you continue to just push everything in i love doing this i feel like it helps everything soak in properly step seven which is eye cream i'm not really a huge fan of eye creams maybe because i just haven't found the right one but for now, I've been using the Belief, Believe in Truth Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I want to do a skincare routine with Belief. I love Belief, and it's a clean skincare brand. And their Aqua Balm is to die for. It is so good. It is so moisturizing. I love getting samples at Sephora because they really put you on, okay? If you have your points, Use your points at Sephora when you get to the cash register. I have found some of my best skincare or makeup brands through getting those samples. But anyways, you don't need a lot. I take like literally a little bit and just kind of pat it underneath my eyes and bring it on top as well. Your skin underneath your eye is definitely the most fragile part of your skin, so you want to be super careful with it and you don't want eye bags and premature wrinkles so just be nice and gentle number eight on my korean skincare routine is moisturizer which is super important everything that you've used you obviously want to make sure you lock in the moisture one of my favorites is elf holy hydration face cream and this is the fragrance free and I love e.l.f.'s skincare. Do not sleep on e.l.f. They might be cheap with makeup, but their skincare is actually pretty good. I've used their face wash with the Nynamide, I believe, and I really liked it. It was super gentle, and this is the second thing that I tried, and it is so thick. It is perfect for just locking in everything, especially for winter and the dry months. Looks like this. Like I said, she is she is thick she thick so i'll just kind of use that she just looks moisturized she looks ready to go it's a nice base primer for if you're using foundation and stuff it is so nice and thick i absolutely love that and we're coming to the end of the skincare routine but we are not done yet the next thing that I love, 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 this is something that I do every single day. I am an oil girl. I love me some oil. I feel like even if it's just a quick on the go, I just put oil on my skin and it just gives your skin that extra oomph, that glow, that everything you just need without doing the most. And I love to mix my oils. So the first oil is vitamin E. 
This is the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Organic Vitamin E Pure Oil Complex. I like to get the vitamin E oil that's a little bit more watery, not the super thick one. I find the super thick one to kind of feel gross sometimes, especially because I have silk pillowcases. They just feel really sticky. I like this one because it actually seeps into your skin and it's light. I'll kind of show you how it pours out, but vitamin E is an antioxidant. It helps reduce UV damage, it heals and strengthens the skin's barrier. So it looks like, do you see how like watery that is? The next thing I use is organic rosehip oil. And rosehip oil helps to even skin, brightens skin, fades scars and it helps with wrinkles as well so I love using rose hips so I just mix this in just a few drops and lastly just to kind of help with everything I'll put a few drops of tea tree and this is an organic tea tree and let's see I wrote it down it's antiseptic antifungal anti-inflammatory antibacterial and it also helps with like skin damage as well and if I ever have a pimple that pops up I will put straight tea tree on it even though you're supposed to dilute it but there's a pimple coming up I don't want nothing coming up I want that bad boy gone so I will put straight tea tree and feel the burn but I would not recommend that if you have really bad acne because you don't want it irritating your skin a little bit more make sure you test things I am no dermatologist but I'm just showing you what works for me. So I don't like to rub it too much. I just want to press it in so that it just, it just locks everything in. If you put your moisturizer before your oil, it's a little bit harder because then your moisturizer won't be able to like seep in. So I like doing it moisturizer, then oil, because then the oil just locks everything in and eventually it seeps into your skin. So for my last final step, I'll use Laneige, Lip Sleeping Mask, and Berry. And I love this. This is for your lips, and it's so nice. Smells incredible. Smells like strawberries. And I find myself reaching for this even throughout the day when, like, I don't need to be using it. You guys are probably looking at my dry lips this whole time like, girl, when are you going to do something to them lips? Like, I should have put that on from before, but... I love this mask and this mask helps with exfoliating dead skin and dry skin cells as well while you're sleeping just kind of moisturizing look how good she looks so for my final step in my 11 step Korean skincare routine technically it's 12 because I threw a J roller in here so we'll just call it a 12 step this is my gasha. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I love this tool. It is so bomb. I got this from Amazon. I don't think it's real jade, but I use this when I'm done with my oil. I just drag my skin kind of up and I do it kind of gently, but I put this in the fridge so it feels so good right now. And I just really just massage my face dragging everything up this is also used in traditional korean skincare as well is it japanese pretty sure it's korean but it could be japanese it's pretty much just used to really kind of help your skin with blood circulation it helps with obviously it has a cooling property so you can kind of well if you put it in the fridge so it helps with that, it helps with lymphatic drainage as well. This is pretty much the same as a jade roller, but the difference that I find is with my jade roller, I feel like you don't really have as much control, where with this, you're like, you know, you're really, you can kind of control it, you can feel the curves in your face. I love that you can use it on your body. So when I'm in pain, and I notice I'm like hunched over like this, I'll just kind of use this and really just press it into my skin and I find that it really helps like even on this side I'll just switch up I love this and I feel like this has really elevated my skincare routine so that concludes my 12-step Korean skincare routine this is practically what I do almost every single night minus maybe the tools and the mask 
But I think self-care is super important. This is something that I stressed in my last video about mental health and ways to cope with that. So if you're interested or if you're struggling, make sure you go check out that video. But I think self-care is super important. I think it is a way to just remind yourself that you are worthy and your body is worthy of your time and giving yourself that extra five to 10 minutes a day just to pamper yourself always feels good and you feel a lot better after you've done it and you look good and you smell good and you just feel like you've completed your day or you're starting your day. So in the morning, I don't do too much. So I do a lot in the night and then I just feel like when I go to bed, everything just soaks in and I'm getting all that nutrients and I wake up and I feel good and I look good because I took that extra time in the night to pamper myself. So I wake up feeling good. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely have more on skincare to come, but I hope you guys are taking it easy and taking care of your skin and you want to take care of your skin from now. You don't want to take care of it when you already have problems. I know everyone's skin is super different and everyone has their struggles. Like I also have my bad days as well, but it's important to just you know, stay positive, continue your routine, and just do things that feel good to you. So thanks for joining me, Vogue, and I will see you for another video, hopefully on the main page. <laughs> okay, good night, guys.